And in addition to posting his manifesto online, suspect Christopher Dorner also reached out to me directly. He mailed a parcel to my office that arrived on the first of the month. My assistant opened it. Inside, he found this hand-labeled DVD accompanied by a yellow post-it note reading in part, quote, I never lied, which apparently is in reference to his 2009 dismissal from the LAPD. Now, the DVD shows testimony by a man who says he was kicked by an LAPD officer. According to Dorm Dorner, it confirms the story that Dorner told the LAPD, the story that he says got him kicked off the force. Today, by the way, is the eighth anniversary of his hiring. Also in the package, as I mentioned, a coin wrapped in duct tape. Now, the tape bared a handwritten inscription saying, quote, thanks, but no thanks, Will Braddon, his former boss. On the top of the duct tape, there's also an abbreviation. Now, at first today, we thought it might be the initials IMOA, which commonly is an abbreviation for Imagine a More Open America. But if you look at it closer, it now appears to be the number one with a space, then the letter M period, O period, A period. One MOA could stand for one minute of angle or one minute of arc, which is a marksmanship term. Now, here's the coin again. You can see the bullet holes, three to the center, another shot nicked off the top. As I mentioned, I was made aware of this parcel today, as was the editorial staff at AC360 and CNN management. And upon learning of its existence, CNN alerted Chief Braddon and law enforcement. Bill Braddon, as you know, is the former New York police commissioner, as well as a, uh, L.A.'s retired chief of police. He joins me now. So, Chief Braddon, I, I want to show you some of the images uh, that uh, apparently were, were sent to me. I didn't know about this until really just a, a few hours ago, and I know you're seeing these images for the first time. The, the first is a, a coin, um, the kind of coin that I, I, I would imagine either you give out or it's the kind of thing soldiers often give out or on police forces they have, a kind of a ceremonial coin with some bullet uh, holes clearly shot through, both in the center and off to the side. W what do you make of this? Do you have any idea how this man might have gotten this coin? Uh, chances are he would have received it from me, the photograph that's been displayed very uh, widely today of me shaking his hand in front of a pair of flags, probably would have been the custom I have of when somebody was activated into the military heading overseas, I'd bring them up to the office, uh, present them with one of these coins as a token of respect and good luck, and uh, also have their family come up to meet our military liaison officer who would then basically work with the family during the period of time when the officer was gone. So looking at this coin, that is a uh, what is called a challenge coin. It's my personal coin that I give out to people. And uh, it's, it's, the coin's usually about an inch and a half, two inches in width. So it looks like he uh, probably shot that through with a, like a 22. It, it, it's uh, the kind of thing, it's, I think it's a military tradition. I, whenever I'm with a military unit, oftentimes they'll coin me or uh, even I think President Obama has some uh, other uh, high officials have them. Um, do you remember anything about this person? I actually do not. And uh, it's interesting because he's a very distinctive looking individual, just the sheer size of him. But uh, in the course of a year in the LAPD, I would probably handle anywhere from two to 400 disciplinary cases, uh, major cases and uh, in a 10,000 person department and over the space of seven years. Uh, I don't recall him uh, as distinctive as he looks and I don't recall the uh, specific set of circumstances uh, for which I uh, fired him or discharged him. I've now reviewed all of those documents but uh, I, I have no recollection of it uh, in the sense of uh, even after reading them. In the parcel that was sent to me, and again, this arrived, uh, I guess, on February 1st, um, but uh, I'm just learning about it, and CNN management, frankly, is just learning about it today. Th there, there was uh, duct tape that the coin was wrapped in, and on the duct tape, it says, it's kind of hard to see there, it says, thanks, but no thanks, Will Braddon. And then up on the top, it's, uh, uh, it says, uh, I am uh, A-O, imagine... Uh, excuse me, I-M-O-A, which we think is an abbreviation for Imagine a More Open America. Do you have any connection to, to I mean, does that make any sense to you? It doesn't make any sense to me. I received a call from your security department just about an hour ago, actually, uh, informing me that they had received this package, I believe, last Friday. Uh, and uh, as you've indicated, you're just becoming aware of it today as senior management, I guess, at CNN. Uh, what you've shown me is, uh, being quite frank with you, very disturbing, I think, to anybody that would look at it. That, uh, And I understand it was accompanied by some uh, form of letter or written correspondence. So uh, one of the issues, I spoke to Chief Beck sh a short while ago to inform him of this, and 
my understanding is your corporate security is forwarded to the FBI, and the FBI will be sharing it with the LAPD as they move their investigation forward. Yeah, and I mean, I, I didn't see it because, as you can imagine, I get a lot of correspondence and a lot of kind of nutty correspondence, and usually just <laughs> as, as, as did as, I when right. I was chief of police. So <laughs> usually, I, it, it doesn't doesn't even go uh, go to me. I just sort of forward it on to right. to the security folks. He, he lists you in this manifesto. He clearly has some sort of uh, a beef with you. Um, does I mean, does any of that resonate? Does it make any sense to you? Well, uh, in terms of without speaking specifically to the manifesto and what's in it, uh, although there's public documents and I understand the media has been very good about not uh, uh, identifying other people who are listed in the document. In my case, uh, I was the uh, chief of police that uh, uh, signed off on his discharge from the LAPD. So uh, in terms of his grievances, I could understand uh, his grievance directed toward me in my capacity as chief of police. And, uh, but a lot of people get discharged and uh, a lot of police officers get discharged and uh, none of them uh, resort to the actions that this young man has taken. Well, uh, Ms. Brennan, I appreciate you, uh, you joining us, Chief Brennan. Thanks very okay, much. Thank you.